Hey, what's going on, beautiful family? It's your sister Michelle here. I dropped another video. Hope you're doing good and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas or whatever, okay, I get it. Hope you have a blessed day. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I always tell you that. Wishing you nothing but love and light. You know how I feel about you. I love you. I support you. I got your back. I'm still hanging in there because we family, right? Let's go straight to topic, though. Let me tell you something. Now, you watch a lot of my videos. I always talk about my grandmother, right? Nani's in the house. Everybody knows about Nani. People be like, hey, Nani. Let's talk about some words of wisdom for the holiday season. Something that we talked about the other day. Now, we talk about karma all the time. And we know the narcissist is going to, you know, receive karma. And a lot of times we don't think they are. We can't see it. And a lot of times we even think, especially when you're first freshly out of the situation, you're thinking they've gone on or whatever. You're like, there is no karma. It seems like the narcissist got away with everything, right? So let me tell you this. Now, we weren't even talking about a narcissist when we had this conversation with me and my granny and my cousins were here from out of town. And we were just talking about something that was going on with the family and something that a family member had done to the wife. I'm not going to go into all the details of that. Even though y'all my family, I better keep that to myself. But my grandmother said something to us. Well, my cousin was like, he just got away with so much stuff, man. He been dirty for years and he put her through this and that. He might be narcissistic. I don't really know. But he put her through so much and she's such a wonderful woman. And we were just sitting around talking and, and my cousin, my other cousin was like, well, it seemed to me like, you know, he just keep doing what he want to do. He's been doing this for years. He done got away with it. Ain't nothing coming his way. And Nani was at the table with all of us. And she said, let me tell you something. That's not true. Stop saying that. Y'all got to get this out. Y'all young girls got to get this out of y'all mind. Y'all got to stop saying it. You know how grandparents are, you know. They just go straight in on it. She said, well, you all are sitting here expecting karma for this guy. You're sitting up here wondering if something's going to happen to him. You got to stop wondering about it and everything else and know it's already going to happen. It's already going to happen. And then we were like, mm, yeah, that's true. And for me, being with the one I've been through, I was like, yeah, I've seen it. But anyway, she was like, you got to know that it's already going to happen. You got to know it. Don't wonder about it. Don't think it's not happening. You got to know it's going to happen or if it's not already happening. Because then she broke it down for the individual that we were talking about. She says, well, you look at him now. Yeah, he's been doing this for years, but now he's not very well anymore. He's sickly. And I said, yeah, that's right. He is sick now. God, I forgot about that. She's like, he's sick now? He has children that don't want nothing to do with him now? They don't even let him see his grandchildren because of his behavior? He was working for a big corporate place years ago. Some, some type of stuff went on. He lost the position at that place. So you all sitting here telling me? That karma don't happen. You got to know it. It is going to It does happen. Don't guess it. Don't wonder about it. It is going to happen. So when she laid the stats out, as only Nani could, we were like, yeah, that's so true. She said, and that's why I keep trying to tell you all. Stop saying it didn't happen or what? why didn't it happen. It seems like this and know that it is going to happen and it is happening. Because my cousins were saying, because they, they have, you know, they're not around like that because they were here from out of town. They're like, we didn't know he was sick. We didn't know all these things. So you see what I'm saying? Things are happening to the narcissist that you don't even know is happening. Just like they were saying. See, I, I didn't know. I knew a little bit, but not even the tea that Nani was spilling. I was like, oh, my God, really? I didn't know all that. So the whole time we, been, we were thinking he was getting away scot-free. But Nani was holding the tea, honey. And that's why she was like, listen. Don't be worried about if it's going to happen and how it ain't happening and when it's going to happen. You got to know it is happening. It is going to happen. It's already happening. I was like, wow, that's deep. I got to share that with the family. You know, I always share stuff when Nani start talking. You know what I mean? Nani be telling us the truth. Don't she not? She be telling us the truth, fam, right? She be honest, okay? She was like, let me tell you, y'all got to stop all that. Because you don't know the inner works of what's going on. So when she spilled the tea, we were all like, wow, that is happening to him? Wow, it's that deep. It shocked us because we, on the outside looking in, we didn't see that. We see him still living in a decent house, still doing this and that. So we never knew all this was going on. And that's why she busted our bubble and said, that's what I'm trying to say. Stop it. Stop it. Stop waiting on something that's already done. Stop looking for stuff. Because why are you looking and looking at you? You're looking past the real, you're looking at everything else and thinking about everything else, but you ain't looking directly at the truth. Look directly at the truth with a narcissist. They are, they are already going through hell. It's designed that way. 
You reap what you sow quicker than you know. So when you feel like that, think about Nani. Think about the story I just told you. How you be thinking one thing, it's mind-blowing, right? And it's the complete opposite on the inside, honey. Complete opposite. Get. I'm not saying you're supposed to gloat in somebody getting karma, but at the same time with narcissists, they don't care how we feel. They gloat in our pain, do they not? I'm not saying two wrongs make a right, but I ain't complaining. <laughs> I'm just saying, fam, keep your head up, be strong. Trust that what they did, they're not going to get away with. I talk about this all the time because I know it's so important to us. But when I get wisdom like that, I have to drop it to you. Because somebody at her age, almost 90, she has seen it, done it. And what she says, I told you before, almost everything that woman has ever said to me or anybody I know has been true has been true and when people like that have lived life longer than us and have seen people do so many people wrong and lived in so many instances and like i said a lot of times the old folks be knowing the tea they just be holding on to it it's real it's real don't let your pain overwhelm what is gonna what how you're gonna be redeemed don't let your pain overwhelm you that you're gonna be redeemed for this because you are you are it's already happening it was already in the works like, my grandmother said this to me, too. Karma don't start at the end. It started from the first time somebody did you wrong. See? Woo! That's deep. But it's real. She used to tell me all the time that when I was, even when I was a young girl, and I didn't know no better, I thought I knew something. I was jumping off the porch and smelling myself. She used to say, be careful what you do to people. Careful what you say. Because, you know what I'm saying? When you jump off the porch. Oh, Lord, my dog. Anyway, let me get out here. My kids are home. Forgive Gucci. It is what it is. I'm sorry. That's my cue to get off. I'm talking about a narcissist. He's upset. I love y'all. Happy holidays. Shut up, Gooch. Shit.